Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to go over a couple of things here. Uh, there is a brand new free game that just dropped on Steam and it's a pretty notable one. Maybe it'll take you back a little bit if you played the game back on, I think it initially came out on Xbox Live Arcade. That is Ascend and we've got Ascend Reboard available free on Steam. We'll talk about that briefly. Also want to give you guys a heads up on the new Humble Bundle, the Essential Content Creator Bundle. This bundle is absolutely insane, so we'll get to that in a little bit. Want to go over a game that you can play, a game that's officially out tomorrow, but you can play it cheap right now. If you have a Game Pass subscription, if you have an EA Access subscription, you probably know where I'm going with this, so we'll talk about that. And then also, speaking of Game Pass, man, not a bad time to sign up in December because we got a absolutely stacked update coming to Game Pass in the month of December. More on that at the end of this video. But first of all, Ascend Reborn has dropped for free over on Steam. This kind of came under the radar. I knew it was dropping either yesterday or today, but we didn't get official confirmation. I was looking through the Twitter page, so I was like, oh, I don't want to mention this unless it is actually going to drop. Well, it did drop I believe yesterday, and Ascend Reborn is an old-school third-person action RPG. Wage war as a brutal chaos warrior on your journey to ascension. The reign of the titans has come to an end. The new gods have risen to claim ultimate power and need a champion. Will you rise to the challenge? Now, obviously, this is a free-to-play title, but it came out back on the Xbox 360 as a free-to-play game, I believe, uh, all the way back in 2013. Then it got uh, released on PC in May of 2014. Kind of went to the wayside, but now we have have a newer release of it in Ascend Reborn. So if you do want to play an action RPG here, you can check it out. It already has a positive reception. 30 user reviews, 93% of those reviews are positive. The game notes the ancient prophecies foretold that once the Titan's reign had ended, one of the three gods would claim dominion over their brethren and seize a position of ultimate power. That time has come and now your god needs a champion. Will you rise to that challenge? In the deadly world of Ascend Reborn, blood is power. The Titan's colossal, bloodthirsty immortal giants will lumber through the world World, satiating painful hunger with endless feasts of human souls humans pray in vain as their villages are engulfed in the violent onslaught of the titans and their monstrosities the new god rise to claim their legacies chaos ascend evolving world and it's an old school action rpg with a lot of unique twists and surprises it's free to play over a steam it does have in-app purchases but it looks like people are enjoying the game as a free to play title i never played it way back in the day at least i have no memory sometimes those games that came out in that 2010 to 2013, I was playing so many games at that point, and I was, like, jumping into games, sometimes playing them for 5 to 10 minutes, and then I was like, alright, yeah, not to the next game. Sometimes, you know, having that dilemma of choice is a problem, and that's really uh, only grown over the years, but nonetheless, that is available free over on Steam, so check that out. All right, next up, we have the Essential Content Creator Bundle. Look, if you're trying to get into YouTube, if you're trying to just create content, do whatever, uh, this bundle's absolutely nuts. For $25 over at Humble Bundle, you get Vegas Pro 18, Magic's Music Maker 2023, uh, and a bunch of other software as well. Movie Studio, SoundForge, uh, Music Maker EDM Edition. I'm not too familiar with a lot of that, but Vegas Pro 18 is the star of the show here, at least in my eyes, given that that is a expensive piece of software, and to get a legitimate copy of it for $25. Uh, this is a pretty uh, nutty uh, deal, all things considered. Again, if you're trying to get into YouTube content creation, Vegas is a pretty easy to figure out uh, software to use. Um, I know a lot of people prefer Premiere Pro, but uh, yeah, Vegas for dummies like me uh, works pretty well. So I would say give it a shot. You got a bunch of other applications as well. The beat the average is 2416 right now. No one is buying that. Everybody's just going to the $25 tier. So go check that out as well. Highly recommend that. I'll give it another mention here soon. But uh, yeah, just went live and I wanted to give that a shout as well. Okay, moving on from that. Need for Speed Unbound is out tomorrow. I don't know how many people are going to be checking this out, especially at that $70 price point. Uh, that's a pretty hefty price point, but on top of that, Marvel's Midnight Suns, as well as Callisto Protocol, comes out tomorrow. Now, I know a ton of people are excited for Callisto Protocol. Marvel's Midnight Sun was kind of a sleeper, but the reviews have come out, and surprise, surprise, Firaxis did a kick-ass job with the game by the looks of it, and now people are excited for that as well. Well, Criterion is working on Need for Speed Unbound. That's a solid development studio as well, and the game itself looks really solid. It's got a flashy, arcadey vibe to it. Definitely a bit of a shift from Need for Speed that we've seen in years past, but 
I feel like the promotional aspects, the marketing aspects for this game have not really been that strong. And unfortunately, I do think that coupled with the fact that there's two major games coming out on the same day is going to lead to this game being a kind of a commercial... I'm not going to say disaster, who knows, maybe it'll come out, the reviews are going to be really solid, and then people are just going to naturally gravitate towards it. Need for Speed, even though it's an IP that's lost some of its luster, I feel like if it puts out one really banger game, especially one like this where it is a bit of a shift, I think word of mouth will just travel fairly quickly and people will check it out. Maybe not at $70, but if you do want to play it right now, you actually can with EA Play. You can play the game for 10 hours. 10 hours of game time will give you a good idea on whether or not you want to ultimately buy the game and on top of that you're gonna save 10% off on the game because you're an EA Play subscriber so you'll save seven dollars on the game netting you two dollars if you were to just buy the game outright without EA Play on top of that EA Play gives you access to the vault lineup of games from EA that's really the drawing aspect to EA Play the vault catalog Battlefield 2042 maybe I shouldn't headline with selling you on EA Play with Battlefield 2042 but Battlefield 2042 Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order FIFA 22 Grid Legends the World Cup's going on jump on some FIFA Dragon Age Inquisition Dirt 5 Need for Speed Heat Titanfall 2 Star Wars Squadron Star Wars Battlefront Battlefield 1 I can go on and on Madden 22 if you want to play some Madden that's an option as well it's $4.99 a month, or you could go year by year for $30, so you can check out Need for Speed Unbound as well. The other Play First Trials they got going on right now is like FIFA 23 um, and some other games. I'm sure they got some other uh, decent titles as well, but I know FIFA 23 is on there. Nonetheless, Need for Speed Unbound, a pretty notable one, so uh, check it out with EA Play if you do want. I feel like that's a pretty good value deal, so uh, yeah, wanted to give you guys a heads up on that if you do want to play it, and again, the game will be officially released tomorrow. System requirements are a little bit hefty. Recommended RTX 2070, however, minimum is a GTX 1050 Ti, kind of surprising that a 1050 Ti is minimum, but they couldn't get this game on PS4 and Xbox One. Um, maybe it was a timing issue, they needed to get the game out by the end of the year, I don't know. Visually, it's got a lot of flash, it's got a lot of style to it, so yeah, there you go with that. Definitely a bit of an over-the-top arcade racer, which I am totally down for. Not gonna get around to it anytime soon, just because so much stuff coming out and Marvel's Midnight Sun is something I do want to play, but Callisto Protocol is, gonna, is what's really gonna take my time uh, come tomorrow. Lastly, I do want to note, kick-ass Xbox Game Pass update, and remember, Game Pass includes EA Play, so, like, if you want to go through Game Pass, you can play Need for Speed, uh... Unbound uh, 10 hours of that through that as well. Like, that's just nuts. But nonetheless, Xbox Game Pass in the month of uh, December is adding a ton of great stuff. Eastward is being added uh, today. That is uh, coming. That came out back earlier this year. Very positive uh, reception on that. Walking Dead, the final season, and totally reliable delivery service. But come December 6th, here's where things get really spicy. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. Oh, hell yeah. I already own the game, but that is a great addition. I'm not even a big Lego. Lego guy, not a big Star Wars guy, but that game was awesome, so much content, and the Lego games are pretty accessible for everybody, so give that a look. Hello Neighbor 2, that's day one available on Game Pass, I'm not a Hello Neighbor guy, but hey, day one Game Pass, sounds good to me. December 8th, Chained Echoes, if you're a fan of JRPGs, this is going to be a sleeper, not getting a lot of attention right now, but keep your eyes on that, that might turn out to be pretty solid, uh, great throwback look there, so if you're a fan of like SNES style JRPGs, that's going to be something to keep an eye on, uh, Metal Hellsinger hitting Xbox One, High on Life is going to be available on day one with Game Pass from the mind of Justin Rowland, comes High on Life, humanity is being threatened by an alien cartel who wants to use them as drugs, it's up to you to rescue and partner with charismatic talking guns and take down Garmantuas and his gang to save the world. Potion Craft, an alchemist simulator, Hot Wheels Unleashed will be December 15th, as well as Rainbow Billy. And that's just for the first half of the month, so that is a stacked lineup, uh, if I say so myself. Like, Star Wars, Le Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, Chain Echoes, those two right away, uh, that does a lot for, uh, uh, for me as far as my opinion on it. Again, I already own Star Wars Skywalker Saga, but nonetheless, you get Hot Wheels as well. Uh, on Xbox, Metal Hellsinger, some great stuff added to Game Pass. And remember, Need for Speed, you can play through that, uh, you can play 10 hours of that through, uh, Game Pass as well. You'll have to, like, launch it through... 
the Game Pass app and whatnot, so it's a little, it's not through Steam, of course, but uh, nonetheless, there you go with that, but that is going to do it for me, again, Ascend Reborn, available free right now on Steam, it's going to be free forever, Need for Speed Unbound, if you do want to check it out, EA Play is probably the best way to go through it, uh, to try it out, 10 hours, I mean, 10 hours of gameplay is going to give you a pretty good idea on whether or not you want to pick up the game, and then Game Pass getting a stellar update in the month of December, first half, and you're getting all this stuff, hopefully, come Christmas, they're going to offer even better stuff, so be on the lookout for that, that'll do it for me, let me know all your thoughts, Thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out